this can happen now, or maybe this even happens after I come underneath here and I come to this side and she puts the frame in place here um, across my neck. So anytime that this hand presents itself across the front of my neck, I'm looking at trapping the arm. Going back to the beginning, from here I have good shoulder pressure. I have my hands underneath her head and I have my elbow slightly off the ground allowing me to put more pressure on her face. That's gonna make her want to bring her hands up. As her hands come up, the hand that's on the bottom, that's already palm up, just is gonna cup the bicep. So I come in this position, it cups the bicep. I rotate my shoulder to the ground. This hand comes over, makes a grab, makes my connection from side control. From here, I bring it down, sweep the ground for the shoulder. So starting out from this position, I have good shoulder pressure. She puts her frames in place. I want to kind of trap that hand underneath there. I'll even pinch, use my chin to pinch the hand and keep it in place as I pull down. This is what's important. My hand is already palm up in this position. All I'm doing from here is I'm taking it out of my connection. I'm pulling it forward and I'm taking my right shoulder and I'm pressing it to the ground. This is going to hold her hand in place so that I can take this hand out, come in and make my connection over the arm. Thumbless grips, elbow down, sweep them out. Pretty simple Americana, but it's going to be a little bit trickier uh, of an attack because this is natural for her to want to put these frames in to try to create distance.